everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you who are new to my channel. Those of you that know me and know me on a personal level know that I am a very project type person. Uh, I have done lots and lots of different things in my lifetime. Uh, but today I'm going to do uh, something a little bit different from cooking. I was going through my drawer here that I keep my measuring cups and I have a, a little uh, crock that I keep my measuring spoons in and I thought I need a more organized way of doing that. So I went out into my garage, uh, a, a big garage that my husband built, it's not my car garage, and I found this piece of quarter round that was painted and so I have sanded this and what I intend to do is to take this it will go up against my wall here the tile but what is kind of neat about this and and I I don't really know where to I'll have to put it up against the tile to show you how this is going to work but it'll lie flat and then I'm going to put hooks underneath here for my measuring spoons to hang from because I have a lot of different different measuring spoons so that this is going to be my spoon rack and then this is a piece of oak that I had left over from um, it may have been when I built my spice rack I built my spice rack several years ago but anyway this is a piece of oak and I'm going to take this and my intention is I will have to drill holes and I'm going to use this dowel rod to hang my cups. Now these cups here uh, is what I will use the dowel for. And I will show you this is all my stuff. And so these cups here will need the dowel rod because the hole is, is larger. and But these, I can't use the dowel rod because the hole is too small. So what I intend to do is to use a skewer. And I will drill a hole in my piece of wood and I will put my, glue my skewer into it and I will just be able to hang my cups like so. So, when I get through with this, I have bought this, um, this fastener. Um, I don't know what you call it. It just says fastener. It's extremely strong. But I had mounted some other things here in my kitchen, on my kitchen wall, some little novelty things. But this, I'm not sure. I think the way this will work, it's like Velcro. And so... I will glue, or not glue it, I won't have to, it has a sticky back, and I will just put it on my board, and then I will put one up on the tile, and then this will just stick to the wall, and I don't have to worry about drilling any holes in my tile. Same as with the quarter round. Now, I'm going to have to cut the quarter, cut this to fit the quarter round, because it's going to be too wide. So, I will cut that, and I will place probably about three of them on it, but... What I'm going to do now, first of all, is I want to whitewash this and this so that it will match my cabinets in here and it also will blend better on my tile board. So anyway, um, I'm going to mix up my paint now and I will let you see how I do that and get these two things painted and let them dry and then I will seal them with this polycrylic. Um, I've got just a tiny bit left in here and I think it will be just enough to maybe do my two little boards here. Um, this is the container that I will put my paint. I'll, I'll put, um, I think it's like four to one, four parts of water to one part of paint. It's what I did when I did my kitchen cabinets in here. These okay, I have mixed four tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of paint and I've got it stirred 
pretty well. So I'm going to paint my pieces of wood. I don't have to paint the back side because the back side's not going to show. So I'll just paint one side and, of course, the edges. It is really hot out here. Oh, it's in the late afternoon, but it's really a warm, warm day. Okay, and then I'll paint my quarter round. I want my wood grain to show through this. Okay. And now this will dry. I'm going to grab a paper towel and wipe my piece of oak. Actually, when you're doing, I mean, this small piece of wood, it's not going to matter with a paper towel. But when I did my cabinets and all that other work, I used rags, lint-free rags that I bought at Lowe's and uh, just wiped it down. Because like I said, you want the wood grain to show through this. You just want the white to sort of stain it a little bit. Okay. Now we'll let that dry and then I'll put the um, polycrylic finish on it. Then I'll drill my holes and then I'll hang it. So we'll be back. Okay, my pieces of wood have gotten dry and so now I'm going to finish it off with the polycrylic and that shouldn't take long at all to dry. So I'm just going to give it a coat and then my piece of oak. I will coat as well. I will paint and coat the edges as well as the front part of the board. Okay, that's done. So I'll wash out my brush and close up my polycrylic. I still have enough for another little project. So I'll let this dry and then we'll go from there. Okay, my, my um, polycrylic is already dried. It didn't take me just a few minutes. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mount uh, these hooks for my spoons. And the way this is going to work, the way I've got it figured out to work, is it's going to lie flat against the wall. So I want my hook, I'm going to bring this closer to the bottom because it will be longer this way so that my screw will not come all the way through. I'll so. need a very small drill bit. So if you don't have a drill and if you want to make one of these, you could start a hole with a nail, just tapping it. So I'm just gonna start it. Let's try this and see before I go any farther. Okay. That will be ideal for what I want, but I'm going to get my tape measure and I'm going to space these evenly across and I'll be right back. I think I will space them about every two and a half inches. Okay, and I want to drill my hole. Now let's see if we can screw these into the holes. And then of course, I don't know, maybe that was, that was Paisley barking. I thought it was Lily because every time the neighbor's dog barks, she starts barking like she's the only one. There she goes. She's the only one allowed in the neighborhood to bark. This one's wanting to be difficult to start. I may have to drill it out bigger. Okay, my battery died on my other drill, but I've made gotten a little bit bigger bit. And I think that will make a difference. 
the five. last hook and then I will take it inside and mount it to the wall. Okay, I have completed my little spoon rack for my measuring spoons. Of course, I won't need all those holders. I can put other things on that, but I do have quite a few um, measuring spoons, but I, what I'm going to do is hang them according to the size. The ones that are a quarter of a teaspoon, I'll hang all of those on one hook, half a teaspoon, all on one hook, so on and so forth. So now what I want to do is put my mounting tape. This is like a Velcro, very similar to a Velcro. Let me this is what it looks like and it's adhesive on the back. I will put one strip on my rack and one strip on the wall and then it will just stick to each other, the Velcro part. So I have to trim this to fit my little rack. So I think what I'm going to do is cut it in half and that way I'll get two pieces for one. Okay, I'm just going to cut this in half and then I will take another strip and cut it in half also. I think I might better do three strips just to be safe. Okay, and so then I'll just peel the back end off of this and apply it. It's close up to the top edge. To the edge here and to the top edge. And just press it down. What I will do is bring this in like this and mark where my adhesive is. I'm actually going to mark it on this board that's underneath my cabinet. I'll use that for my guide and then I'll just mount it below it. Okay. Okay, what I'm doing or what I have done is I have taken where I have the adhesive. I don't know if you can really see that, but I've marked here, here, and I've marked down there. Now what I will do is take my strips and place them on the tile below those marks. I'll butt it right up to the board and just press it. Okay, maybe you can see this a little bit better. I've moved my light and moved my camera so that you can get, hopefully, a better view of what I'm doing. There is a board up underneath. You see that board underneath my cabinet? And I'm going to mount my spoon hanger flush to that okay. board. All right, let's try it and see. You can see I've got it hung. And so now I'm going to hang some spoons on it and we'll see how that's going to work. Okay, they are hung. And um, I still have two hooks that I can hang another utensil on. I am so. back today and, and I'm going to um, paint my dowel rods. I didn't do that yesterday, so I've got to get that done. And all I'm going to do, since it's just such a small dowel rods, and these are actually skewers that I'll be using. So I'm just going to use a paper towel and dip it into my diluted paint and coat this dowel. Okay, and that's all there is to that. I will let that dry. And now I'm going to coat the little skewers. I won't worry about the tip end that I'm holding because I'll glue that inside the hole that I'm going to drill. But I have three of these and that gets that. You see here, this is already dry. It is really hot out here. I have just gotten home from Jacksonville. I had to go, had a doctor's appointment down there this morning. And uh, I think things are going to go maybe a little smoother and easier than I was anticipating. So that was very encouraging. 
but I will um, I will give you a, a detailed update on that later okay that is finished so all I have to do here I don't know I think I may give that a sand because it's a little rough you know when you when you paint something it raises the wood grain a little bit or the wood fiber not the wood grain but the wood fiber so it feels a little rough I think I'm gonna sand that and do maybe one more coat of um, polycrylic on it so. I grabbed a piece of sandpaper so now I'm just gonna lightly sand this I want to go in one direction and so now what I will do is one more coat of polycrylic on this Okay, and I'm going to set this right here in the sun. That'll be dry in probably five minutes. I'll run a coat over this dowel as well as these little ones. It's a nice breeze blowing, and boy, does it ever feel good because it is hot. Okay, when those get dry now, I'm going to drill the hole in my board here. I'll mark it off. I'll determine how far apart I want my cups to hang, and I'll mark it off, drill a hole, cut my dowels my skewers are already cut to the length that I want but I'll cut my dowel and then I will glue it into the hole and then I'll mount it so I'll be back when this is all dry okay my little board is dry as well as the dowels and I've come back inside so that I can place my cups to determine how far apart my dowels need to go these will take the, the skewers because they have a very small hole and so and I'm going to stack them just like this to conserve space and then these will require the large dowel this is the way I'm going to space them okay so I'm going to mark these so I know where to drill the hole I'm going to do this one with a plus so I'll know that that's my large dowel that will be going there Alright, so there's two places of small dowels. This is what I cut my dowel and my skewer into with. My larger dowel here, I will take out to my table saw and I will cut it out there. But I will measure, I have one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And I'm going to make them the same length as the little skewer. So I will mark it. Okay, that's six places. I'm going to take this out to my garage and I'll cut this and then I'll be back. I have my board mounted to some saw horses. Um, I've got them clamped so they're real secure so I'm going to try drilling a hole this is oak wood so it's really hard to drill but anyway you want to keep your drill straight and I want to see now if this is going to fit it may be too big and it is it's a little bit big okay well let me get a different drill bit I'll just have to come a little bit further down I will just have to fill this hole with wood putty. I tried to look at my bit to see if it was the right the size, right. and I thought this one was going to be too small, but I'm going to give it a try right beside it. That's better. That's still big. I may have to fill these and then... Okay, let's try this. Maybe the third is the charm. I think that one will work. It's really tight. Okay, that's all the way through, so good deal. I will drill my second hole. I need to take that out and get it out of the way. Okay, 
It's all the way through. Now I have to drill a bigger hole for my larger dowel. Okay, I'm going to start right here in the center. And let me get my dowel and try that. Perfect. I'll glue that in. It's a little little wobbly, but I'll glue it and that'll be fine. Okay, so I'll bore the rest of the holes for that. Okay, the last hole. You can see how it looks. And um, I'll just fill these two holes with wood putty and put a little paint on that, stain it, and it'll be okay. Okay. I'm gonna glue my dowels in. I'm just gonna run a little bit of glue around the bottom and stick it in. Squirt it in the hole and see how that works. I'll have to get me a rag and wipe this up around the edges, but I'm going to go ahead and do this and then I will do it all at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this glue off, the excess glue, and get that before it dries because it'll dry really quick because it's so hot out here. Okay, before I put my dowel in these, this last hole, I'm going to go ahead and fill this with wood filler, the two that I drilled. I hear an owl. Clean the bottom side here. Not that that really makes any difference, just my self-satisfaction. And now I will put my, my last little skewer in the hole down here. And I'm just going to twist it down until I can feel it coming through. And there it is. Okay, that's it right there. All right. And so now I'm going to touch up my wood putty with just a little bit of paint. And now, no one will ever notice too much. If they do, so what? Don't sweat the small stuff. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to dab the ends of my dowels because, of course, they're raw wood. So I'm just going to dab those ends. It'll soak up that paint. Now all that's left is to put my mounting tape on the back and hang it on the wall. And let's see how it's going to work. I think it's going to be great. So I will see you back inside. Okay, I'm back inside. I'm going to mount my adhesive strips. They're like Velcro and they're a little bit too wide. So I'm trimming about an eighth of an inch off and I have to trim about an eighth of an inch off of the ones that will also go on the wall. I feel like I'm fixing to go up and smoke. I am so blasted hot from being outside. Goodness, it is hot out there. I think summer has arrived. I don't know what the temperature is outside, but it's really, really hot. I hate to think what it's gonna be like in July and August. We have some hot, hot summers here. Okay, now, I'm going to peel the backing off of this and I'm going to mount it. I'm going to come right to the end of this and I'm going to place the first one. And I just press it down and then I will turn and come to the other end. All the way to the end and press it. And now I'm going to do a couple sort of along in here. I'll go about here. Okay, so that's one, two, three, and four. Now I will go over and I'll mark on my tile where this okay. is to go. I'm going to mount this up underneath my cabinet and I'm going to center it pretty well. Uh, that looks like it's about centered. 
So what I'm going to do is turn this down just so I can see. And I'm going to mark my uh, Velcro strips guy. Okay, I'm going to peel the backing off and stick it to the wood. And this will go... No, not to the wood. I'm crazy. I'm sticking it to the tile underneath the wood. Okay, and then this one goes here. Uh, let's see the way I did this. Okay, that's the end. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and it's mounted. The lighting is not the greatest here. Uh, but anyway, you can see. And it blends right in with my tile. So that's, that's going to be really great for me because my, my drawer there was getting very, very cluttered. And I will show you how this is going to work now. I won't leave the cups on it until my dowels can really get set and dried. But these will go on just like so. A friend of mine said to me yesterday, I didn't realize that you collected measuring cups and spoons. I said, I don't. I just have acquired them over the years. I don't know how. I, part of them was my mother's when she died. And I said, I don't know how I wound up with so many, but I did. I mean, I use them, but it's not like I'm out there collecting them. She and I will go, we call it junking together. Okay, now this I'm going to, and I, I always would buy dishes, because like I've said, I love old dishes. And uh, she said, well, I didn't realize you collected measuring cups and spoons. I, I never noticed you looking for those when we'd be out. I said, no, I didn't. Didn't look for them. This is going to be great for me, honestly. It is going to be great. Because now I won't have to dig around in my drawer trying to find the right size cup. It'll be right there. So that's my little handy dandy measuring cup holder. My little DIY for today. That concludes my video and I appreciate your watching. I would like to ask if you haven't subscribed to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, click the bell, and leave me a comment. I'll reply back to you. Until the next time, this is Beba saying, may the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe. And I hope you have a really great day. And I hope to see you really soon. Bye.